Welcome back, Witchcraft families. Again, I'm Mrs. Norton, and today I'm lucky enough to get to do another reading comprehension lesson with you all. You can do this with any fiction book that you happen to have at your house or with one of the resources your teachers have sent you, like Raz Kids, GetEpic.com, or Scholastic. You can find this activity under the Reading Writing section in your Week 3 Modified Curriculum. And I have chosen today a book that I am super excited to read because it talks about celebrating our Earth. Wednesday, April 22nd is Earth Day, and I figured this is a really great starting point in teaching our kids the importance of taking care of our Earth. In our science section of the Week 3 Modified Curriculum, there's an awesome secondary resource, a book, and a really fun cleanup scavenger hunt that you could do maybe over vacation to get outside and, again, support the understanding of how important it is to take care of our Earth. When I read this book, I'm going to model different ways that you can check your learner's understanding before our reading, during our reading, and after our reading. The first thing that I like to do is read the title, The Earth and I, by Frank Ash. And I'm noticing in the cover that there's a globe. There's a boy who's hanging from a tree who looks super happy. I see a beautiful tree full of color and flowers on the ground. I wonder what this story is going to be about. I know it's going to be about the earth. And I hope we learn some ways that we can take care of the earth. This book has beautiful pictures, so I'm going to come up real close. The earth and I are friends. Sometimes we go for long walks together. I know I like to go outside and take a long walk, especially when the sun is out. I tell her what's on my mind. She listens to every word. Then I listen to her. Look, it's starting to rain like yesterday. The boy is still listening to the earth, listening to the rain. The earth and I are friends. Look at after all that rain, a beautiful rainbow. We play together in my backyard. I'm noticing the boy has a pile of dirt that's on the ground. He has a toy truck and he's making tracks in the pile that he's made. He's playing. I help her to grow. What has the boy done to show that he's helping the earth by growing? He's planted some seeds. She helps me to grow. How has the earth helped the boy to grow in this picture? It looks like he has a big bowl of fruits or vegetable that every human needs to grow nice and strong. I sing for her. She sings for me. Who on the earth is singing right now? For the boy, the three birds. Chirp, chirp. I dance for her. He's raking. She dances for me. Look at those leaves flying around in that windy day. The leaves do look like they're dancing. When she's sad, I'm sad. Why does the earth and boy feel so sad in this photo? Look, I see a fish that feels sick. I see a boot that doesn't belong outside. Some cans that don't belong outside. Some oil. Some trash that needs to be picked up that don't belong outside. It makes the earth and the boy feel sad. Oh my, in this picture, I see that the boy is doing his part to help the earth he is picking up the trash, all the items we saw on the ground. He has a big bucket and he's cleaning up. He's even helping the earth by planting. When she's happy, the earth looks happy in this picture. I see bright colors, the animals are eating, the water is clean. I'm happy. The earth and I are friends. I hope you all enjoyed this book as much as I, as I do, and I hope that you all can get outside and maybe do your part in 
in using the pick up scavenger day hunt list that is under the science section. Now some comprehensions we can ask after our reading is who was the story about? You can do another picture walk and your learner can pick out a character that the story was mostly about or you can do photos like I did in our last reading together. I have some photos here. You could do a quick drawing. Who is the story about? Is the story about the earth and the boy? Is the story about school? Or is the story mostly about a ball? That's right, the story is about the earth and the boy. If your student has a communication device, you can say, who is the story about? And I would go to groups. And I would go to space. The story is about Earth. Earth. That's right. That's who. Okay. The next comprehension question you can ask your learner is, where did the story take place? You can do a picture walk, or you can put out an array of three for some choice. Where did the story take place? Did it take place in a restaurant? Did it take place outside or in a hospital? Where did the story take place? That's right, outside. Again, a learner with a communication device. Where did the story take place? I would go under places. Hmm, you can give some choice or the learner can point. Outside. That's right, that's where the story took place. The next comprehension question to check for your learner's understanding of the re reading was to ask them to sequence what happened first, next and last. And again, I like to use this graphic organizer that is broken down. You can use pictures to help or your learner can point out things that happen first, next and last. I like to give choice. Our three choices are the boy picks up trash outside, the boy plays and plants outside, and the boy goes for a walk outside. What happens first? First, the boy goes for a walk outside. Next, the boy plays and plants outside. Last, the boy picked up trash outside to make the earth feel happy. That's what happened first, next, and last. The last question you can ask your learner is with a sentence starter. You can say, my favorite part of the story was when I personally like She helps me to grow because I know how much I love to eat fruits and vegetables. That's why I know it's so important to take care of our earth. I hope that you guys enjoyed this story. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your special education teacher. See you next time. Bye.